it's Texi. Today is a bit different because I'm gonna be testing these watercolors. Yes, this thing is a watercolor sheet thing. You may have seen like Hello Alice and I guess Chloe Rose art. Try this. But yeah, they are these little sheet things. So I'm gonna swatch them since they have these little swatch things there and then I'm, I'll just play around with them a little bit because like it's been ages since I've done watercolors in any form I'm just gonna play with this a little bit and see if I like them because they were kind of an impulse buy because I was like oh they are only like 18 euros with shipping and stuff so why not Whoa, that's so weird. That's supposed to be violet, but it's like golden in the sheath. But yeah, I'll, I'll do some swatching and then maybe try to paint something if I still remember how. <laughs> so yeah, these are Viviva color sheets and there are 16 colors. So yeah, <laughs> let's see what they're like. So yeah, I tried painting something with the watercolors after swatching them and I managed to lose the beginning part of this because that's how good a YouTuber I am. I don't even know how I managed to mess that up but yeah. I, I tried to paint some kind of a succulent thing because like the packet packaging of the watercolors themselves had lots of flowers on them and then I just wanted to make flowers too. and. Well, succulents are my favorite at the moment, so I kind of tried to do that. And then I messed it up real good. I just can't remember how to paint anymore. And I forgot how hard to control watercolors can be. I don't even know what I tried to do here. But like, I made those weird swirly thingies and then I didn't like them, so I painted over them with the blue. I guess I... After I messed up the flower itself, I just kind of started doing whatever, testing all the colors. Yeah, I think I like the greens and blues the best. I tried to add some pink in the succulent too, because, you know, they ha some of them have that little hint of pink in the leaves. So I tried to add that, and I messed that up pretty bad. But that's fine, I'm just having a good time. I was watching Gilmore Girls while painting this, so I guess I wasn't even focusing very well. Yeah, I I like the watercolors. It's I'll probably try to get back into painting a little more because I have these other watercolors too that are, are like really good. I bought them when I was in art school because we could get them for a little cheaper than from normal stores. So yeah, I, I th I'd like to get back into traditional art a little more. I just I always go for digital art out of convenience because I don't have a proper desk for any other stuff. My computer takes over my whole bloody desk and I don't have space for anything else unless I like throw my keyboard away. And it's ki it's kind of risky having water near electronics anyway. I actually have a traditional art video prepared for next week too. 
because we are doing this little collab thing with some art room people and I'm I'm pretty excited to see what people are doing for it. So you'll see what that's about next week. On Monday actually, because we decided to post them on Christmas Eve. So look out for that. So here's my amazing painting after it had dried a little bit. Could have been better. And here's how the watercolors look like after some use. They're not as pretty anymore, but I guess paints are supposed to look like they have been used. That means they have been loved, so that's a good thing. <laughs> but yeah, I like these watercolors and I hope they will kinda, I don't know, inspire me to try painting a little more since they are this tiny small thing I can take with me anywhere. I hope you guys like this video and thanks for watching. Bye!